LK. Um, I consider the 4LK possibly alongside the 8LXB as the Cinderella amongst the gardeners. It really has been neglected in terms of parts and development and everything else. Um, 4LK manuals are hard to find. Parts in general for the 4LK engine are hard to find. Now I have in my hand here it's book number 56 and it's supposedly an LK manual but you'll see here what has happened somebody has simply stamped LK on an LW book so you could say that it's not really that authentic um, it's got stamped on the inside modified so I can't help but feel that this did come from from gardeners it's not uh, it's not um, a Mickey uppy somebody hasn't just knocked this together so the book is essentially the same as the LW book um, every now and then in here there are some um, you'll see this kind of thing where a diagram has been printed off separately and then just pasted in again I I, I think that is a gardener um, doing I don't think that's been done by some mechanic somewhere so you're going to find it difficult to find uh, L, proper LK manuals out there. Now, whenever it comes to parts for the 4LK, I have in a hand here what I consider to be a, a thing of some beauty. It really is lovely. This is an original uh, 4LK parts manual. It's priced at 10 shillings and it's catalog number 533.1. I'm not too sure that there's ah yes 14th of October 1952 one year after I was born look at the illustrations aren't they beautiful fold out again this book uh, smells just a little bit <laughs> a little bit fusty um, um, it really is lovely um, but the process of getting from the uh, the the, um, the illustration to the actual parts is is not straightforward. There is your your uh, whoops. There is your parts page. I'll take that through. I'll take you through that now. Find the part then. I go to what they call the illustration section. Um, I visually identify the part. Say that flyway. I see it's part 3 slash 35 on plate 14. I then go to what they call the descriptions book. I scan down here until I find a section with plate 14 on it and I identify the part 335 and that tells me or confirms that it's the flywheel without the ring gear. Again, it's not easy. You have to be patient, and it takes a fair bit of uh, a fair bit of hoking and, and uh, searching through the books. Now uh, we're lucky because in the 4LK we've also got a workshop tools and special drawings book. It's book number 55, and again, like the LW, it's really quite beautiful. Uh, there's no date on this and no price. It's book number 55, but it's full of really very interesting stuff, uh, dimensions and tools. For example, that's the tool to make up the, the chain tensioner to measure the wear on the chain. So that's it. That's the uh, 4LK engine covered. And I think that's me done on Gardner books. Thank you all so much. I, I hope I haven't tried your patience too much. Thank you.